नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन द अपकमिंग ट्रांसिट ऑफ द प्लानिट वीनियस एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम दिस ट्रांसिट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वीनियस विच हैज बीन इन द साइन ऑफ इट्स डेबिलिटेशन फ्रॉम द पास्ट कपल ऑफ वीक्स एंड नॉट ओनली दैट just to make things worse it was also conjunct with k2 as well so i do not know how it has created a difference in your life in terms of your finances in terms of your relationship but trust me in my personal life as well and the kind of pattern which i have been seeing in the consultations i definitely saw the hit which people were experiencing in the matters and in the domain of the venus but the sigh of relief is that venus is going to be transiting now to its mool trigona sign which is the libra on september 18th only so from september 18th till october 12th uh venus is going to be in a dignified state so all of that damage which it has done in your matters of relationship and, and wealth it will definitely be a time of damage control replenishment and much more growth and prosperities and guys uh, you must be finding it little bit um, different um in my um, this video that why the background is so dim and the background looks like to be little bit unusual so just like that i day before yesterday only i moved back to vancouver again so i'm just in this mode of packing unpacking and my friend is helping me uh, before i will move to my permanent place but the good part is that all those things which used to be a part of my background uh, for the past 3 4 years you can definitely see all of that again back in my life so okay guys um and just because uh, i'm sure you would have seen that the debate of trump and uh, kamala harris it was very insightful and i also realized that it's a time of the radha ashtami only uh, because of which um, it's very important because even the goddess radha which has been seen and worshiped as the um, as the manifestation of the goddess lakshmi only so on this auspicious and holy day we can have our discussion on this transit of venus so okay guys uh, for all those people who are new to vedic astrology the transit of venus becomes very important like the way lot many people give emphasis only to the transit of the slow moving planets like the way when we talk about the transit of jupiter saturn rahu and ketu but when we talk about in a shorter span of time like um like specifically all those professionals will being in the limelight your personal magnetism being talked about is very important or you are primarily working in the domain which has to do with the relationship marketing or something to do with the any of the relationship related concerns so venus in that short span of its transit can definitely create opportunities in your life and like the way guys i always say this thing that um when it comes down to the planet venus or even the planet moon like i'm talking from the vedic astrology point of view these are among do, those two planets which has got a major say in giving us that feel good factor like you know for no good reason if you are happy uplifted motivated so somehow um, definitely you are getting blessed because of a strengthened a uh, venus and moon in your natal chart so now guys definitely uh, once venus will come out of this extreme affliction of insecurities being very critical and fighting with your partners and all not being able to find solace anywhere the typical domain of venus in virgo conjunct with ketu so now when venus will transit to the libra you will definitely see an up rising surge in your respiration in that feel good factor in the matters of again finding that harmony and compatibility with your partner now guys the good thing is that i would say i do not know whether to call it good or address it vulnerable uh, the day when this transit is taking place the immediate next day is the time of the lunar eclipse as well so i would say that whatever i will be predicting over here right now in this video in order to feel the result of all those predictive part you still have to give it at least couple of days because i would say that after immediate after the uh, september 19th lunar eclipse for the next couple of days energy is going to be little bit sensitive but definitely guys like the way we say this thing that whenever prakriti is in a unstable state during the time of the eclipse and all it's not like that it will only make you vulnerable lot many people like when we talk about the incidents like lucky break epiphany lottery win um those also happen in the similar kind of circumstances as well so like the way we say what could be the pain of one person could be a panacea or remedy for another person as well so okay guys uh, venus in the libra the general results we all know that 
Libra is a air sign. It is a sign of the balance and Venus because it rules this sign. So this is going to be the domain where people generally, whenever Venus is in the Libra, we end up taking some very right decision. We end up uh, taking some very uh, fair uh, decision in the matters of business, in the matters of relationship. We uh, tend to stand a very strong chance for recognition, for like being popular, being acknowledged for all of our contribution to be a very good peacemaker in any of the situation of conflict and all. So this is how you can see or relate Venus's presence in the Libra. Like the way guys we say this thing that in today's modern day age, when we talk about that sort of uh, potential and possibility to become rich, to become wealthy and likable. So Venus in the Libra or I would say planets in the Aquarius definitely play a very integral role specifically if you want to be liked by the world. So now guys uh, after that let's uh, shift our discussion to understanding this transit results for all the rising signs. Now guys uh, when we talk about the Aries natives definitely guys in your case uh, this affliction of Venus in the transit from the past couple of uh, weeks was actually making you guys the most vulnerable because Venus in your case becomes your second lord and the seventh lord and being debilitated conjunct with Ketu in the sixth house I'm very much sure it would have burned a hole in your pocket. Okay. For certain professionals, this could be a time for doing the damage control or restructuring things or order in your workplace. But still guys, I would say that it would have actually um, like to lot many Aries Lagna, it would have created a rift in the matters of relationship, in the smooth flow of your daily work life, your health, routine and all. But now guys, the good part is that once Venus will transit to your seventh house, you will definitely see an upward a surge in your aspiration. Like the way we say that when we talk about in the modern day in age, all those aspect of law of attraction or manifestation, somehow it has got very strongly to do with the air signs and the presence of the planets like Venus, um, the planet like Jupiter, planet like Rahu, they play a very integral role. So I would say this thing that whatever aspiration you have, all the Aries natives, um, this is going to be the time which will definitely give you the right set of platform. And just because Venus is coming right immediate after that extreme affliction and now it is getting extremely dignified, you will definitely see your plans to be working out in a very sudden transformative way. And when I say plans, here I'm talking about all aspect of your uh, commercial aspiration, the matters of uh, personal relationship, personal happiness, um, you know, kind of the way you get perceived in the society in short your public image so all these areas will definitely find a upward rising energy or wish fulfillment contentment attainment in all these areas for the Aries natives now guys uh, when we talk about the Taurus natives definitely guys um this is going to be the transit of your ascendant lord and your ascendant lord is now going to be getting strengthened in your sixth house so definitely guys uh, i'm very much sure that because uh, venus is your ascendant lord being in the fifth house conjunct with ketu debilitated it would have actually created that energy of feeling insecure some people would have encountered losses in the stock market trading or sudden kind of energy of breakup or finding those flaws with your lover in the matters of relationship as well but now guys the good part is that once Venus will enter and get dignified in your sixth house so I would say that in your daily life uh, you will definitely see uh, that now you're able to reconcile any of the ongoing issues in a very graceful way let's say for example if you are somehow connected with the loan department banking health fitness industry and all so all those people will definitely get benefited so guys this is actually a time when let's say for example if from the past couple of weeks you have gone through some sort of bitter terms with your co-workers people in your daily life so this is going to be the time either there will be an olive branch which is going to be getting extended from the other side by other people or you would be in a state to forgive and move on so yes guys and nothing would be better than that if your livelihood is connected with the venus in domain you are a makeup artist you are a pr representative you are a freelance graphic designer all those people are definitely headed in the right way with this dignified state of venus in your sixth house now guys uh, when we talk about the gemini natives so definitely guys in your case 
uh, Venus has got a um, like um, lordship of your 12th house and it is going to be getting dignified in the 5th house and being a very good friend of your ascendant lord Mercury. So that in itself means that all of those insecurities you have been battling with, all those kind of you know issues in your domestic life which you have been dealing with in the past couple of weeks, now with this entry and dignified state of Venus in your 5th house, you will definitely see life heading you or taking you in the right direction. So guys, let's say for example, all aspect of the fifth house, we see the mantra siddhi, mantra sadhana from the fifth house, yoga, interest in spirituality, your academic goals, the way your mind function, all the speculative interest, your personal magnetism. So let's say for example, guys, if you are an artist of any form, during this time, you have to give any public performance, you have to release any of your important work, or let's say for example, you have to convince people people for getting things done or let's say for example because um, all sort of advisory and counseling power and skills and abilities we also see from the fifth house so overall guys I'm actually seeing uh, the Germany natives headed in the right direction whatsoever insecurities and the challenges uh, you would have been dealing with from the past couple of weeks that is going to be a matter of the past um, you will also be able to uh, you will be reached out by your loved ones during this time this is definitely going to be the time where new romance can also uh, happen for a lot many Germany native is that and let's say for example if you are straight away connected with the fields of stock market with the fields of um, performing arts something to do with the um, like you know uh, dealing in a business of children or uh, educating or giving tuitions or these kind of things so all those professionals will straight away get benefited with this dignified state of venus in your fifth house now guys uh, when we talk about the cancer natives so definitely guys in your case uh, venus has got a rulership over your 11th house as well and now venus is going to be getting uh, dignified in your fourth house so guys uh, to begin with definitely venus being debilitated in your third house in the influence of ketu was not a very good energy so from the past couple of weeks if you would have felt yourself being betrayed or being not helped by your friends this could be your neighbors your siblings so all of that is going to be a matter of the past now the good thing is that because Venus is getting dignified in the fourth house lot many astrologers also say this thing that somehow Venus and moon they also get very powerful whenever they are placed or they are transiting from the fourth house so in a way guys this is going to be the time when you will deep inside you will feel you will get this feeling that I am being well uh, protected nurtured guarded and loved by the right set of people in my life like this is actually going to be the time when let's say for example if professionally you're working in the fields of um, interior decor designing or uh, you have a gift shop these kind of professionals are straight away going to get benefited the good thing is that guys during this time you will definitely see being uh, pampered and well taken care by people around you and let's say for example whatever you will and this is also typical energy of the manifestation as well i would say that 11th lord the house lord of the wish fulfillment is getting dignified in the fourth house of what your heart craves for your inner emotions and feelings so yes guys for the manifestation law of attraction or finding and getting connected with the like-minded people feeling nurtured well taken care at your own home within your home boundaries and all so overall in a nutshell a very good energy for the cancer natives now guys uh, when we talk about the leo natives so definitely guys in your case venus has got a rulership over your 10th house and now it is going to be getting dignified in your third house so definitely guys because it has got a rulership over your house of career and profession so all these professionals are definitely going to find themselves more empowered and again guys when we talk about venus in the libra the power generally comes through this could be political connection this could be the kind of um, you know kind of contacts the kind of important people and the connections you have in this society so all these connections which you have earned with the course of the time will definitely come to your rescue so guys definitely because 10th lord in your case was uh, debilitated in the second house of finances of your values of your speech and it was also conjunct with Ketu from the past couple of weeks and from its own mole Trikona sign it was 12th so definitely if let's say for example you have been a victim of being misunderstood in a situation because of some slip of tongue 
or any of the wrong financial decision or there could be those circumstances where you kind of find yourself being um, dejected uh, from your own immediate family members and all so this is going to be the time when you will definitely see that people around you will be reaching out to you they will be offering their support and love to you and this is actually guys a very good time let's say for example if um, any of the leo professionals are looking forward for some sponsorship support funding or you want to kind of you know sign any contract get into some new partnership alliance with people and all so that is how things are going to be working out and yes guys third house is a very important house when we talk about a performing artist and all skilled professionals and all so 10th lord getting dignified in the third house will definitely benefit all those professionals whether you are a graphic designer you work in the fields of sales media marketing you are a content creator all those people will get benefited now guys uh, when we talk about the virgo natives so definitely guys in your case um venus has got a rulership over your second house and the ninth house so venus definitely is a very important planet for you good friend of your ascendant lord and now it is going to be getting dignified in the second house so definitely guys um when venus was uh debilitated right over there in your ascendant uh, it was conjunct with the ketu as well and i mentioned this thing that okay um i did not emphasize much on the financial aspect the more which i emphasized on that this could be a time of awakening epiphanies uh, you know uh, your guardian angels your departed ancestors and all um, feeling that um, sense of divine protection or their presence around you so a lot many virgo natives see these kind of experiences only happen if you are attuned to those kind of energies through meditation through discipline following proper rituals and all so it could have been something like that but in general lot many people would have felt themselves being little bit lost not being well supported guided mentored by people around them but now the thing is that once venus will get dignified in your second house definitely guys it's going to be a very good time this could be some additional source of income family um, lending their support to you in all different ways and along with that guys i always say this thing second house is the house of income your financial inflow and let's say for example if your income is connected with the domain of the venus like this could be case you deal in female products or you are a jewelry designer you are a decorator of any form you have a event management company you are a wedding planner you are a model you are a makeup artist so all those people can actually get benefited the way transit is supporting you guys and with this dignified state of uh, venus uh in your second house definitely it will contribute a lot more than what you would have anticipated so good time for the virgo natives now guys when we talk about the uh, libra natives so definitely guys in your case as you can see that uh, venus is your um, ascendant lord getting dignified in your ascendant in itself so definitely guys uh, i would say this thing that the past couple of weeks would have been a little bit difficult for you now see guys this is where the knowledge of astrology comes because uh, being an astrologer whatever right now development is taking place in my life i can fairly correlate okay because my this planet is going here moon was transiting that day on that house in that zodiac sign oh the time of eclipse is right on the doors so that's how i can relate so you would not believe i'm all the time surrounded by the libra natives only and how often they have been complaining from the past couple of weeks oh i feel a little bit lost i feel no one is supporting me lot many people also got sudden rise in the kind of scam calls which they were receiving and all some people libra natives from the past couple of weeks they suddenly became very interested in um, searching on the matters of life and death transcendental meditation so this was all the impact of your ascendant lord being in the influence of ketu and debilitated in your 12th house so if you are a spiritually aligned person you would have got benefited with this energy and rest of the people might have got the hit feeling insecure anxious and all but now guys the good part is that venus is getting dignified right over there in your first house so all that charm and passion of yours which you kind of felt being lost uh, being snatched away from you from the past couple of weeks you will definitely regain that momentum that charm that energy um in your overall existence second thing is that definitely guys because uh, first house somehow represents our overall energy and well being your ascendant lord is getting dignified right over there and if i were to see um the placement of saturn another important planet for you and all so overall planets are in a dignified state so my recommendation is a very good time for um being in the front foot um taking those important initiative which you have been planning to take from the past couple of weeks or let's say for example if in any capacity you 
have to face the public on daily basis you have to give any public performances and all or you are connected with the business and all and let's say for example any deal of yours any important business aspiration of yours was getting struck at the last minute so i would say that now we will definitely find a release in all those kind of blockages so whether we talk about for your uh, personal magnetism being well supported by the females being able to initiate important project and all so regarding all that front like i can assure you if from the past couple of weeks you felt that you are lacking control over your life health is going wrong you are being very susceptible to all the negative energy infection viruses and all so now we will definitely find that the power and the control over your life has been restored back again this is how you can see things working out for the libra natives now guys when we talk about the scorpions definitely guys in your case venus is your uh, seventh lord and now it is going to be getting dignified in your 12th house in itself so now guys we all know this thing that even in the original karl purush kundli venus in the 12th house has been always considered as good like trust me i have even read to this extent that people say that if venus is placed in the 12th house it hardly matters in which zodiac sign it is placed it is considered as good i will not go that far but I can say this thing for sure that Venus is definitely going to be getting in a very graceful state for you guys. Definitely guys, Venus being debilitated in your 11th house being conjunct with Ketu the last couple of weeks would have been a little bit difficult for lot many uh, Scorpio natives and I will not be surprised. Let's say for example, um, they were plan of yours. This could be commercial as well, business connected as well, which did not fly, which did not work out at the last minute because of, you know, some good friend betrayed you, let down you. So this is how the planets function whenever like you will or you are in this kind of alignment. But now, guys, the good part is that now Venus regaining the momentum in your 12th house is a very good sign. I would say that when we talk about from the passion point of view, feeling very uh, uh, rejuvenated, taking out time for hitting gym, giving time and attention to your uh, well-being, to your own self-grooming and all. So regarding all that front and guys, nothing could be better than that. Let's say, for example, if you're already li living in overseas, far away in foreign land and looking out for uh, new opportunities or looking out for a partner for yourself. So it's a very high possibility that you will strike a gold during this time when your seventh lord is going to be in a dignified state in your 12th house. Guys, the only thing is that, see, understand this thing. Um, Rahu in the fifth house is always a matter of vulnerability because we know this thing that fifth house which tells about the kind of thoughts which are coming to our mind. The lunar eclipse will also happen on close to that day only in your fifth house. Over and above that, see your ascendant lord, Mars is going to be under extreme affliction, going back and forth, retrograde and everything from the next many months, uh, hovering between your 8th house and the 9th house. So that means you have to be very careful. Let's say for example, all what I can say is that Venus in the 12th house has got more to do with the passion, release of passion and all. But what is the definition of passion and pleasure for you? That will matter a lot during this time so my recommendation to the scorpions is that do not seek refuge in questionable things for passion and pleasure that is all what i can say do not indulge into too much or over indulgence in any of those stimulating things this could be you know uh, alcohol partying sex and all so don't go overboard as much as this could be pleasure giving as per the venus's placement but your ascendant lord is making you a little bit vulnerable so that is what my recommendation is that balance and uh, credibility and honesty integrity is very much needed in any sort of involvement in the matters of passion and all now guys um, when we talk about the for the sagittarius natives so definitely guys in your case uh, venus is not a very favorable planet for you that is a different case but yeah it is uh, has got a rulership over your sixth house as well and now it is going to be getting dignified in your 11th house so guys uh, definitely to begin with during this time lot many sagittarius natives will find that um, they are suddenly the center of attention amongst the females or females might play a very important role during this time. So my recommendation that uh, stay as 
respectful to the females as you could be this is equally valid whether at your workplace or whether within your home as well this could be your wife your sister your daughter your mother and that's a different case we see sister from mercury or mother from moon but still any female somehow is being represented more by venus than any other planet so you have to be very respectful to these people along with that guys definitely during this time let's say for example because see um Venus has got a rulership over your sixth house, which tells about your daily work ethics, daily life. Uh, tenth house is the actual house of your profession. And over there, Venus was debilitated from the past couple of weeks, being conjunct with Ketu. So I do not know what has been your experiences with your bosses from the past couple of weeks, and especially the female bosses. But I would say that even if something bad has happened, and if life is giving you an opportunity to forgive, forget, and move on, or reconcile those terms so my recommendation to use that do consider those pacts or those kind of offers and yes guys 11th house also tells about our friend circle it also tells about all sort of you know large group networks this is also the house of our gains wish fulfillment and income as well so nothing would be better than that if you are working in that domain only something to do with the working in a pr agency social media marketing or anything to do with the kind of you know large scale promotion branding marketing you being a performing artist or let's say for example you are working in the field of the venus and during this time like you are an artist or you are a graphic designer or you are a makeup artist act like actor and all so during this time there's a high possibility of getting more work or whatever work you will put out you will release during this time that might strike a chord with your audience so good time for recognition feel good factor feeling happy being well supported nurtured by people around you it's a good time my recommendation uh, you know if it's po possible so voluntary as well uh, no strings attached uh, do give some uh, like perfume or rose or flowers to the females around you now guys uh, when we talk about the uh, capricorn natives so definitely guys venus in your case uh, becomes the uh, your karaka planet for you and now as you can see that venus is going to be coming out of the clutches of being conjunct and debilitated like being debilitated in your ninth house and conjunct with ketu now it is finally coming out of it and now it is going to be transiting in your 10th house so definitely guys uh, this is one such uh, Panch Mahapurush Yoga called as the Malavya Yoga. So it's a very good time specifically in the matters of your professional aspiration during this time. A lot many Capricorn natives will stand a chance for like being considered for a promotion or let's say for example you are connected in the fields of uh, trading, uh, stock market, you are a performing artist, you have just completed your studies, you are out there in the job market looking for that placement for you. So the stars are definitely supporting you, benefiting you. Again guys, because uh, the kind of role which Venus plays, 5th house is the house of our academics, 10th house is the house of find, finally finding a job, 5th house is the kind of talent you have, 10th house every artist every talented person wants a platform to showcase display his talent all these things which we talk about like you know let's say for example uh, any of them those talent shows so the talent you have is the fifth house when you get that big opportunity to perform in front of those uh, you know um, experts in a stage that is the 10th house so i mean to say that yes for the performing artist it's a very good time and it's a very good time to um, make some very important connection with important people at the work front as well so this could be case that okay for example in my case had i been a capricorn lagna and i'm doing podcast these days so suddenly i'll get a chance to do a podcast with someone very important very well known very well read so this is how planets work but yes guys whatever talent you have it is a good time to put it out out there in the in the market in the world do proper marketing branding of your product of your services and all if you get a chance if you are being called at any networking event ensure to go during this time because you will definitely uh, get a chance to connect with important people so overall a very uplifting transit some important substantial development at your work front and guys when we talk about venus even if nothing concrete happens a lot many times venus gives us a chance to work on those project work on those uh, brands and meet with those kind of people or those people enters our life even while performing our duties our job we experience luxury so in other times your company might be sending you to important meetings 
in executive class these days or during this time you might be picked up for any business class travel and all so this is how generally happens venus in short represents pleasure happiness and feel good factor now guys when we talk about the uh, aquarians so definitely guys in your case um, as you know that venus again is your like um, your karak planet it is coming out of extreme affliction because it was debilitated and conjunct with ketu in your 8th house and now finally it is coming out of it from its extreme affliction and getting dignified in your 9th house so yes guys for the aquarians there is a high possibility that you will definitely find some certain kind of opportunity which will get materialized for you and because the whole transit is taking place at a time when just immediate after that like when venus is trying to reach out your 9th house right immediate on that day is the lunar eclipse as well so i would say that yes this whole tumultuous surge of energy there's a high possibility that it will end up benefiting the aquarians in a way some sort of epiphany realization being well guided um, by people or any dream aspiration or goal of yours any projected plan of yours which were not able to take off but suddenly um, you know because of some important person's word of mouth or something suddenly things uh, took a favorable turn uh, in your case so again guys when we talk about venus which has to do with the finance which has to do with the relationship luxury pleasure feel good factor in your case venus has got a rulership over your fourth house as well so let's say for example from the past couple of weeks you were feeling that deep inside you're not happy you're like getting obsessed more on towards the things which you lack in your life so all those kind of inner emotional mental anguish and turmoils which you have been dealing with you will definitely find that this could be a case that suddenly coming out of your miseries this could happen because of the arrival of a guru like figure this could happen because of some sudden opportunity which get materialized but in so many ways and with so many strong reasons this can be said that this transit of venus in your 9th house will definitely benefit lot many people travels will prove to be very favorable people who are pursuing higher studies they can also get benefited and along with that any concerns of visa immigration some sort of guidance uh, you will definitely find in during this day of venus in your 9th house being dignified in the libra sign and lastly guys when we talk about the pisces natives so definitely guys in your case uh, although venus is not a very favorable planet for you but as you can see over here that venus is getting dignified in your 8th house so definitely guys a uh, third house getting dignified in the 8th house now again guys uh, a lot many people say this thing that as per the karl purush kundli venus gets strong whenever it is transiting or placed in the 7th house but in your case venus was debilitated in the 7th house it was conjunct with ketu in the 7th house from the past couple of weeks so now the good part is that once venus is going to gain the strength or momentum in your 8th house you will definitely find a upward rising energy in all matters of the 8th house in a way let's say for example if in any capacity you are connected with the fields of research you are connected with the fields of like psychology performing arts so all those people will definitely get benefited now guys the good part is that see um, because um, venus in your case is the third lord as well so third house which has to do with the initiative and i would say that all sort of support and resources which we have we generally see that from the third house so third lord getting strengthened and empowered in the uh, like um, eighth house can be seen as in this way that during this time you will definitely find that all that difference which you are trying to bring in your life or let's say for example from the past couple of weeks there have been those people this could be in your neighborhood in your social circle you end up having some very bitter terms with them so you will definitely find that whatever you have been trying to do and if there were people who were causing any rift any misunderstanding or obstruction over there things will definitely take a sudden turn or things can suddenly transform in your favor as per your liking so yes guys and we know this thing that um, you know somehow uh, when we talk about in the 12th house 8th house 5th house 7th house all these are the houses which somehow involves relationship uh, personal contact physical intimacy so i would say that definitely venus is dignified and graceful state in the 8th house will definitely um, give you solace comfort and strong bonding with your partner in the matters of relationship as well so overall a very uplifting time for the pisces natives as well so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram account dhanyawad